Welcome! So this was going to be an unboxing of my Eno, which is Eagle Nest Outfitters, um, the hammock and all the stuff I bought from them. But my camera settings were messed up and it looked absolutely terrible, um, the lighting at least. So I'm just going to show what I bought from Eno. You guys get the whole point of unboxings. You take a knife and you cut open the tape, or cut the tape off of the box. Pretty simple. So, what I got for my um, Appalachian Trail hike is, first off, a double nest hammock, which is black and brown. I'm not exactly sure what, um, if the base is brown and the sides are black or what orientation that is. We'll take a look at that in a moment. We have a tarp, and this is the ProFly rain tarp. They have a ton of different tarps. Wasn't sure which one to get, um, but this one seemed to be the most popular as well as um, sold at the most wide amount of areas. I did buy all this stuff um, from Eno Direct, so there you go. Then we also have the Atlas hammock suspension system. Saw this suspension system at um, Dick Sporting Goods as well. Um, and these are the things that I've seen most sold, so I'm thinking maybe people um, like them the best, as well as this one kind of seemed like the premium system. You can put it around larger trees, as well as the trees can be a little bit farther apart to be able to attach this. And then we've got two Eno stickers, but I put the other one on my laptop already. So, there we go. Let's look at each individual thing. Um, let's take a look at the hammock first because I'm pretty sure that's what you guys are wanting to see the most. So we have it right here. You just pull up on the little tie thing, which is a neat little system they have. Of course, there is a... Um, Compression straps right there, sorry. Okay. So as you can see, the little bag is attached to it, so it will not get lost. Okay. So the inside is black and the outside trim is like a brownish color. I like that a lot. Um, you get metal carabiners. And this is the double nest so that I can wrap it around myself, keep some of the bugs off, because I believe I am going during tick season. So all as it's going to be the summer, so lots of mosquitoes. So that will help keep the bugs off of me without having to pay for, like, the mosquito net um, or something like that. So let's see the specifications on it. Well, let's first put it in the bag, and I'll show you how easy that is. That was one of the things that people were talking about that is extremely easy with the Eno hammock. So you just grab on to part of it and start stuffing. Okay. Of course there's going to be reviews of everything I show here. Um, I like to do reviews of my gear as well as I agreed with Eno to do reviews of their gear. So, as you can see, it's already in there all the way. Just pull the little tie, pull that down, put the compression straps around it, like that. Just kind of pull on that. So it's in its nice little case. Very easy. And the size of the Eno double nest hammock is, I'll show all that info to you. Let's see. There you go. So it is nine feet, four inches by six feet, two inches. It's very nice. That means I can lay in it any way. I can lay across it even and it will fit. Okay, so next we have, let's go with the Atlas straps. Okay, so this was a strap system that looked really good 
um, compared to the other two. The other two looked good. I almost got the pro straps, but let's see. Yeah, this one looked like it could reach a little farther, and I'm not exactly sure of the terrain I'm going to be in while on the Appalachian Trail. So there you go. As you can see, very long, so it can fit around some very large trees as well as probably some small trees as well. We'll be testing all that out, showing you guys, having reviews. I'm really going to like that it's summer so I can test all this camping gear. So, looks very nice. Um, each one can hold, I believe, 200 pounds. So, there you go. I'm guessing the easiest way to wind this up is just putting it around your hand and twisting. as that seems pretty easy to me. We'll be showing how quickly these things can be put up, taken down, all that good stuff. One of the things I'm really excited about is actually the rain tarp. Um, rain tarps are surprisingly hard to get a hold of or to find, um, other than like the plastic ones. Um, this rain tarp I have is the ProFly rain tarp by Eno. It is 10 feet by 6 inches and 6 feet by 4 inches, 22 ounces. Um, it doesn't include the stakes, so you'll have to get those separately, which I already own. Um, I believe it is, oh, root, yep, root stop nylon, poly coated. So, really am a fan of root stop nylon. So that bag is actually not attached. So, there we go. I'm not gonna take this apart as, um, I don't have room really. <laughs> but, let's see, it looks like it almost has a separate coating on the inside as it does it out. It does, yeah. So we'll have to figure all this out. Okay, it does have straps to attach to the trees. I'll figure all this out hopefully this weekend, as I'm wanting to go camping this weekend with the same person that I'm going camping with on the Appalachian Trail. So we'll figure all that out. I'll probably film the first time just to show you how easy it is or how hard it is to learn. And then I'll show, of course, when I've been using it for two or three weeks on the Appalachian Trail. I'll try to film all that stuff as well. So, let's see. Oh, I have to widen the back a little. There we go. But yeah, so far, looks like high quality stuff. Um, I doubt I'll have any problems with it, but you never know. I don't know why I like Ripstop Nylon so much. Um, I'm also wondering if they make the Eno hammocks, any of those with ripstop. I know um, that this is a woven nylon. Yeah. Um, strong, breathable woven nylon. So, I don't know. Still nylon, I guess. But, doesn't have ripstop in the name. Oh. Um, they do have a lot of different hammocks. Um, I was surprised at a different amount. Um, go visit their website at um, enonation.com. I'll show that web address right there. Go visit their website. Um, you can see how many different things they have. I was surprised. may have to pick up some of their winter hammock gear um, if I would choose to go camping in the winter. Um, so, yep, there's my unboxing, or more just like showing off. And see you guys later. I'll have more unboxings from other companies and also like setup videos. Also, something I did not buy direct from Eno was their, um, what was this called? Underbelly hammock. So, this actually will go underneath my hammock to hold my gear. So, I'll be having a lot of Eno equipment. So there you go. Have a great day.
and I'll see you later.